Tell me where the bomb is. Ten seconds or you're dead. Interesting. I'm the only one who knows where that nuke is. Well then, in that case, I'd say you'd better stop. Didn't do it on purpose. There's like a ton of pollen in here. When I quit teaching and joined the CIA, I thought I was going to be this amazing spy, and I'm still just the same boring person I was. You play it too safe. I just hear my mom's voice. Just blend in. Let somebody else win. Making a wave isn't always brave. Brilliant. Give up on your dreams, Susan. Just to write that in my lunchbox. We've intercepted chatter that Rayana Boyanov knows where that nuke is. She knows the identity of all our agents. We need someone to find the bomb without being detected, but it can't be any of you. We need someone invisible. I'll do it. Uh, OK. Thanks, lunch lady. I'm serious. Don't let me down, Cooper. I will not. I will let you up. Stop talking. I will let you up. We're giving you a new identity. You will no longer be Susan Cooper. You're Penny Morgan, divorced housewife from Iowa. The confidence builder. You really think you're ready for the field? Damn it! Who puts a roof on a scooter? What are you, the Pope? I can't believe that after seeing Identity Thief, The Heat, and The Worst Offender, Tammy, that I would not only consider paying to see another Melissa McCarthy movie, but that I would be excited to do so. But I am excited because this movie looks amazing. I actually read about it a few days ago before the trailer debuted when I was writing the open for my Black Sea Review, which stars Jude Law and who appears here with a fabulously ridiculous American accent. And when I read about the movie, I thought to myself, that sounds pretty darn good, but can Melissa McCarthy and Paul Feig pull it off? Well, it looks like they have, because I think this looks as I said, fantastic, and I think it's going to be a big hit, potentially even a bridesmaids level hit. And I would like to point out that it has uh, male actors featured prominently in the film, at least in the trailer, and that Jude Law and Jason Statham go a long way in helping to sell this movie. Uh, and so that's something for Feige and McCarthy to keep in mind with their uh, Femme Ghostbusters remake. It's not so bad to have everybody at the party, right? Uh, but as I said, this looks absolutely fantastic, and it reminds me of a Sandra Bullock movie. Actually, of course, they just co-starred together in The Heat, McCarthy and Bullock, but uh, this has strong uh, references, in my opinion, to Miss Congeniality, which was a huge hit for Sandra Bullock, uh, I think over a decade ago at this point, but a really solid film. And it holds up, by the way. If you've never seen Miss Congeniality, I recommend uh, watching it, and as soon as possible, so it doesn't detract from when you see Spy. But one of the great things about Sandra Bullock's character in Miss Congeniality is that she was really relatable. And I think that looks like what they're doing here with McCarthy's character, Susan Cooper. I think that anyone will be able to go and see this movie and be like, hey, you know, if Melissa McCarthy can be a spy, so could I. And this is the crazy stuff that would happen to me. So I'm very excited about this film. But not only does it look really funny, the, the laugh out loud, loud moment for me was when she was in her uh, disguise and she was like, this is a real confidence builder. I mean, I thought that was really hilarious. And also, again, relatable. Uh, everybody thinks they're going to get a glamorous spy disguise. And of course, uh, when you see what she really gets, I think so many people can be like, I would get that one too. So I thought that was great. But what really, really also makes this not only a funny movie to me, but a, a really special one and an admirable one is that McCarthy seems to be paying it forward. And I'm talking about the casting of Miranda Hart, aka Chummy, from Call the Midwife. That's the British actress who plays McCarthy's friend. They're, they're talking at the table about, uh, you, know, uh, you know, give up on your dreams when they're having that whole discussion. And if you've ever watched Call the Midwife, Miranda Hart, a.k.a. Chummy, is really the heart of the show. She is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I think she was, uh, I'm not sure how they meant to use her on the show, but she quickly uh, overtakes it. She, her performance is just that good. And when I was watching Call the Midwife, I was like, what a shame that this actress is so talented, but she doesn't fit Hollywood's stereotype of what they're looking for 
especially when it comes to actresses. So I'm worried about what kind of career she could forge beyond Call the Midwife. But you know what? You can say the same thing about Melissa McCarthy. Who would have ever expected her to be a movie star? Not, you know, the people in Hollywood who are running the show, which is why I think it was so hard for McCarthy to get her first big break. But thank goodness uh, for Bridesmaids, uh, which really put her on the map. And, you know, you can see that she's having trouble finding what to do. Maybe that's why some of these movies don't turn out so great, because there's a lack of roles available to her. Because Hollywood still, even though we're seeing some change, they're still suck a little bit in their old ways. So, who, so, so wonderful that Melissa McCarthy decides to hire Miranda Hart and, as I said, pay it forward. Take her success and allow someone else who doesn't fit the Hollywood mold to have uh, an entry into the Hollywood machine. So I think that's wonderful. I hope it's a good part for Chummy. Uh, and I think that if you haven't seen Call the Midwife, you're going to be impressed, hopefully, with her work here. Uh, don't underestimate her ability to steal a scene. So that's my review of the spy trailer. Are you as enamored as I am? Are you also as uh, incredulous that you would actually go and see another Melissa McCarthy movie? Or maybe, you know what, maybe you're still not sold. Maybe you've been burned still too many times. And do you think this could be a bridesmaids level hit? Finally, uh, have you seen uh, Call the Midwife? And what do you think of Chummy? Are you, are you excited to see her make the jump to the silver screen? All right, thank you so much for tuning into my review, and you can check out some more episodes right now.